Hello and welcome to another Zack Carnage video and this time we're taking a look at some Necron Lord models because Nick from the Idic Beer channel has won Invasive Ramnus' competition thus giving him the prize from my previous 500, uh, 500 subscriber competition and we've actually reached uh, 600 subscribers now so thank you for the continued support from all of the subscriber base uh, so Nick wanted um, a single mini, he was entitled to any single mini under the uh, the price of £15, um, so he wants a Necron Lord to go with his Cryptek unit. So uh, I, I initially asked uh, my beautiful girlfriend to produce some artwork for this project, and this is what she's made. Uh, as you can see uh, from my previous video, I, I wanted the um, Grim Reaper style scythe, and she's produced that beautifully, and the built up shoulders and the, just the general Necron look fits really well with this image. So this is what I'm going to be basing it off, this is just some concept art to go with the whole project. So I took a bit of a rummage through my bits box to uh, find out what uh, I had that I could use and to start off I found a bunch of Deathmark back, um, back pieces because when you uh, get a Deathmark slash Immortal box you're not going to use all, all the back pieces because they have different backs for Deathmarks and Immortals. Um, but I think these will do really nicely as um, just the back piece for a Necronaut really help to build up the structure of the body. Obviously I can work with a bit of green stuff to change it however I want. Um, and I think I'll remove the orb from the bottom and the hood. But the orbs at the back should um, produce some pretty good supports for a cape in any event. Uh, so I think that should actually turn out quite nicely. But obviously I don't have a front to work with because you have none of the fronts left over so I can't actually produce that ribcage element without working with some other stuff. So um, to produce the front I'll probably actually have to end up taking another torso piece like this uh, and just sort of connecting the two somehow working with a bit of green stuff again to uh, fill that in and then to try and produce the ribcage on the front I can look for um, some other bits and pieces and spines because you want the, the general ribcage and so you get that nice skeletal look that most Necrons have and uh, in terms of weapons uh, we've got the star from uh, a Praetorian uh, another stuff from a, this is actually from a, a Grey Knight Terminator I believe and um, the good thing about that is because he's a Terminator and not just a normal human um, we don't have a problem with uh, a human looking hand so he does have a sort of robotic looking hand anyway connected to the staff and I, I think I can probably get away with using this um, as the main part of the staff anyway and then we've got some other bits and pieces from Praetorian staffs and uh, Lich Guard, War Sides and just all sorts of bits and bobs there different blades and things that can fit in for that nice side style uh, weapon. And then uh, moving on to different spine pieces that I have. Uh, this one is fairly intact, you know I didn't have to do much, I just sort of found it in a box. And uh, I think this will probably go really nicely, I can just sort of slot this into uh, a death mark back there. And once the hood's gone it should uh, produce a pretty nice spine like you get on a, a generic Necron Lord. And this is actually a little extra piece. This um, can potentially be used as a resurrection orb for Nick uh, if he wants to use it. I'll probably end up magnetizing the bottom to fit onto the base so that it's removable. Um, and that means he can either use it as um, a resurrection orb or he can just have it as a wound counter and a piece of terrain, uh, just random Necron terrain that's there. But I do like the idea of having um, a resurrection orb which is risen out of the ground on some sort of Necron spine. Um, and if that's magnetized he can do whatever he wants with it. So obviously we have a base and uh, we do actually have a spare base in case I screw up the model the first time. Um, and then moving on to different weapons and pieces here, these will actually be used to produce the arms and legs. Uh, so this is just a whole pile of random weapons that I have. And you can see we get, uh, you can pretty much just nab the arm from there. Um, but the barrels can be used as legs, uh, especially like the ones from the Synaptic Disintegrator, uh, which is actually what I used for my previous custom Necron Lord models. Uh, as you can see on the legs on this one, they do produce some pretty nice looking legs, um, but in terms of the feet, I'm gonna, probably going to have to produce my own feet for the model, probably out of a bit of green stuff again, um, unless I can find some spare plastic. Uh, and then this is just uh, another Tesla carbine, which can produce some pretty good legs, but it's a bit beefy I think, the Synaptic Disintegrator works a little bit better for that. And then this last piece that we have is um, some sort of Eldar Aerial thing that I had from, um, I think it came in one of the vehicle sprees for a Tau tank, and 
I know that Nick uh, is a really big fan of Eldar, so I was thinking of fitting this onto the base somewhere. The only problem with um, Necronaut is you get a fairly small base, but obviously you can't make it bigger because they're no good in close combat. Um, so yeah, I, I'm probably just going to fit this into the base somehow, just incorporate it in there and maybe snap it in half or something, and just because I know Nick does a lot of Eldar videos, especially um, because he has his whole uh, Eldar psychic theme. So, as always, thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to leave any comments or suggestions that you have in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to leave any comments about my girlfriend's art, go ahead and request some more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.